Tech Thursday. I'm Cassie. And I'm Nicole. And this week we're going to talk about um, how to track traffic on your website. Um, yeah. yeah. In particular to a certain page, because sometimes people are sharing a page. Um, so for example, we have some people running the marathon, and a lot of them are raising money, and they have fundraising pages. They use like CrowdRise or GoFundMe or something like that to raise money for this marathon. And so what they probably want to see is, how many of my friends, when I share on Facebook, are actually clicking on that link? Option number one would be a neat little website called Bitly. Um, what you do is you copy and paste the long URL of the particular page that you're interested in and paste it in the website and it makes it a little smaller. And you can see the number of people that have clicked on this particular page. So. And it works even if it's not like your particular website, if it's an article that you shared from somewhere else, you can check it out. Yeah, and Bitly is the only tool, by the way, that we're talking about that you can use on a website that isn't your own. Yes. And all you do is you take the Bitly link, you have the plus sign at the end, and you're able to see how many people have looked at it, generally from where they're from in the world in terms of country, um, and whether they came from Facebook and Twitter. And number two, which is um, probably the least sexy but definitely is working is the stats that are provided by your web hosting company so if you've had a website online and you have web hosting your web host is tracking who comes to your website uh, they want to do that for of course checking and see if someone's hacking it right or just generally they have a program that that comes with so our web host for example uses aw stats and they're not very sexy looking um, you can only see them, I think, for a particular month. Like, you can go kind of month to month. You can't customize. Like, can I compare the first week of September of this year with the first week of September of last year? Um, you can't really do anything sexy like that. But honestly, if you're not working from anything, it is better than nothing. And then finally, you have Google Analytics. And Google, you know, it's just like constantly like getting information from everywhere. Whoa. So, So with Google Analytics, you can see a lot of stuff. Um, but in particular, what you can do is you can set up a Google goal. So let's say you want everyone to get to, I don't know, your sale flyer of you, that you're having for Christmas because it's October and you care about this right now. Um, you have the sale flyer on your website or kind of telling people about your sale and you want to see how many people get to it. So what you do is you have set up a goal on Google of people getting to this page. And what you do is you can see who gets to that page, like how they're getting there, whether they're on their mobile phone. So what you might find is like, let's say a thousand people get to your website in general. You might find that 10 people get to this particular page. Um, and if you compare it to like the thousand people that get to your whole website, most of them come through Google, for example. But if you look at how many people get to your sale flyer, you may see that everyone's coming from Pinterest. So yeah, tracking is kind of like having a private investigator for your website. It's true, and some investigators are more slackerly than others. Some of them yeah. will just give you the information that they can get from the public record, and some of them will trail your suspect, you know, and eat donuts and take pictures. But the key, of course, is you got to keep measuring on the same scale. Yeah. Like on Earth, I weigh this much, but I can't compare. Like, I can't be telling you, like, I weigh 232 pounds yeah. on Mars. <laughs> right. <laughs> totally. If you're going to weigh yourself on Mars, you just have to keep going to Mars and weighing yourself, you yeah. know? And uh, so it's not fair to compare stats from one program to another because no, none of them are going to match up. And if you have any other questions or comments for us, you can visit our website at breakingevening.com or leave us a comment. Thanks. We'll see, see you next week. Yeah, totally. Bye. Bye.